Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast. I'm Jane Rogers. My team and I have listened when you ask for personal help in applying the ideas from our podcast experts. So here's what we started. Monthly Zooms with a longevity focus MD or me. Think of this as a time to ask your questions and get answers to speed your progress. To further guide you, we have now an extensive online video course called Cutting Edge Health Accelerator. We want to accelerate the implementation of these paradigm shifting scientific breakthroughs in your life. Both these come together in one package to make it easy to slow aging, to be sharper, to live longer, look better, and have more energy. At mycuttingedgehealth.com, you can find out how to get this personal help. That's mycuttingedgehealth.com. Use the coupon code Jane10 at checkout to get 10% off. Our way of saying thank you for being a listener. I've been really focused on studying the eye's connection to the brain, uh, particularly as it relates to uh, neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. Um, we actually found a, a link between eye fluid and we're, we were able to link that to a um, the proteins in the eye fluid to confirmed pathological brain um, diagnoses. Because diseases like Alzheimer's disease and chronic traumatic encephalopathy are not um, actually confirmed until post-mortem examination of the brain. Th these are what's called clinical diagnoses um, that are made based on, you know, clinical presentation, but there's no confirmation until, until after death. And so we were able to connect, you know, markers in the, in the eye fluid to um, pathological diagnosis in the brain. The holy grail really of um, Alzheimer's research is early um, diagnosis, mm -hmm. right? Because the unfortunate thing about Alzheimer's disease is that pathologic changes occur in the brain, as we know, 10 to up to 20 years prior to the onset of symptoms. Where I'm actually focusing my research is looking at proteins similar to the proteins we look at in cerebrospinal fluid. Um, we're looking at those in the eye. And I feel like um, that might be a more specific way to help uh, diagnose Alzheimer's disease. I think I think finding the link is the first step, and then we just we really need to do more research to answer your questions about um, how soon before um, um, you know we develop symptoms can we detect these changes in the eye.